And we back like bra straps here with another uh, joint film session. Uh, Vach Lombardi and Lieutenant Dan from Unintentional Ground. What up, Dan? Yo, 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 yo. What's up? Dan is basically here to keep me on top of the prospects. I have no idea who they are. I'm not one of these uh, these four letter network draft analysts that that, that that pretend like I know everything there is to know about the draft business in November. I actually don't know some of these guys. And Daniel uh, suggested that we watch Maurice slash Mo Hurst from. Um, Michigan. So we're gonna watch Mo Hurst from Michigan. Dan, you got something you want to say about Mo Hurst from Michigan? Um, Momo, Momo kind of looks like we a, are a not gonna call this man no damn Momo. <laughs> not gonna be able to do it. Look, Mo, Mo looks and feels like a Grady Jarrett type of guy, but Shit. Mo is gonna go in the first round. Grady Jarrett fit, uh, slipped to the fifth because of the size and measurements, um, which was a mistake by everybody. But let's get let's get straight into it. Yeah, let's get into Maurice, not Mo Mo. One Mo. All right. R- bring it back. I don't even know what number he is. I didn't even see. Okay, there he goes. Hey man, y'all see this new little? <laughs> this is pause, Dan. Y'all see this new little draft breakdown thing? They got the uh, you failed to catch a Pokemon blinking light <laughs> on the damn people. You see that? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> damn, I thought it was caught. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Mo Hurst fled. Okay, cool. Run it back, man. He's uh lined up at three right now. Kind of over the two more so. Kind of gets washed out to play. Okay. This is the same kind of stuff that I saw from Grady Jarrett when he was in Clemson. Mm-hmm. Uh was just like lackluster play at the three. Yeah. But there are plenty of times where they had Grady go and play one tech, and he did a lot better. Damn, that's false start, ain't it? <laughs> that ain't false start? Go back. Look look at the center, man. Look at how much fast he moved, man. Am I tripping? Okay, he just picked his head up. Okay, I thought he was moving. My did bad. he just sling that? Hold on one second. Did he just... He doesn't even look. He just slings it back there. Watch. Oh, my Sheesh. God. That's aggressive. Uh, Mo is seventy three, right? Go back. Uh, ninety three. Ninety three. That's ninety three. Yeah. Okay. Go back. Go back one play. You know he right here, man. He 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 doesn't really have a good idea of what he's doing. You no, know? you're right. Seventy three. I like for my for my D lineman to have a plan. You know, last time you saw us watching Oscar from Oklahoma, he wanted to get upfield, use his hands, da da da, boom boom boom, chase. Right? We just kind of see Mo just going forward, fighting this dude. Right? Not really trying to get off the block right here. You know, not great hand usage right here. Leverage isn't great neither. So, just just an observation. I'm not saying nothing about Mo Hurst. Somebody in the comments saying, "Well, you think Mo sucks?" I ain't saying that. I just that's what I saw there. I will say that trying to watch prospects that are are highlighted by the the four letter media networks and mm-hmm. the, and the whatnot, uh, usually those guys are like okay. The four letter network will have you believe in Ohio State had the best D line in the nation this year, and you know I can't go for that. <laughs> no can do. They lined up up at zero that time. Uh, go back for me. Let's see here. I think that's zero. Yep, that's zero. So, <clears throat> mm. but then they had him. What was that stunt outside? No, he just slanted. Just draw outside. It, it, it was just a hard slant. Okay, uh, go back and uh, take a look at this play. Let's take a look at this play. I want to see more from his hands, man. I want to see violence from his hands. I don't want to just see him. You know, just move. You know, moving forward, leaning on people. You know what I mean? I wanna, I wanna see him have a have a plan of attack. You know what I mean? And not just beating people to get there. I like him as a pass rushing defensive tackle. I don't like him as a run stopping defensive tackle. So I feel like he's gonna get bodied up in a lot of running plays. I like that a little better. He, Come back right here. I like this a little better. He comes off the football. Hands inside, he drops his butt, finds the ball, pulls some cloth, gets around. I like that. And I will say he he's he's probably quicker inside. You know, he's probably cl- uh, quicker 
uh, zero one inside the guard type of situation. You know, you 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 bump him out, bump him out to three a little bit. That you may run run into a problem there. So I do see him being more of a pass rush guy, maybe up and down technique kind of sort of. I like this motor you got up field right here. Now he's gonna bolt as soon as that center lets go of the let go of the ball and he gets right up in there again. A pass rushing I like defensive that. tackle. Let him go do what he needs to do. Don't. But I tell you what, though, him on a chain. I'll tell you what. Go back. It had to be third and what was that? It, it had to be third and fifteen to get him hauling ass up field like that. You see what I mean? Yeah, they. I think Michigan uses him very conservatively, but I'm. I don't know Michigan system. I don't know any of these guys' systems. I love this. Now look. Now look. The, this looks different than the dude we saw the first two series. You see some disruption there. Decent pad level, not great. I don't like this play though. It's a it's a read option, and the quarterback sees that he made the wrong i like the wrong play, and then Mo just kind of eats him up. Mm-hmm. But just as far as Mo being disruptive on the inside, yeah, I like that little bit of turbulence he's causing, and I hate that Jeep that 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 missed Pokeball beacon. I hate that. <laughs> he go right off the center, and then gets this tackle here i like how it gets how we how it gets flat immediately it's just so it gets flat get that angle there <laughs> he goes up against the entire he, offense he's line. gonna whoop everybody huh he's gonna <laughs> <laughs> he want a piece of everybody okay he doesn't have a plan man like he he <laughs> you know sometimes d linemen would be so much better if they just think about what they're gonna do before they do it and they'll end up doing it just because they thought about it before they did it you know yeah, but let me stop for just a second and say that this is the same Michigan, by the way, that's using a an an, an outside linebacker at five nine or five eight. So I don't think even Michigan has a plan. I think they're just throwing guys down there that they got at his five star recruits. You know, man, sometimes in college you can just do what you want to do. Now he does have a good a good pull move, man. He he can get his well. This just look like some athleticism. He can get his hands on some cloth and rip people. I like that. He just need to know more moves. And, and boy, he looks fat running down this field, boy. Just, I think he needs to lose maybe about 10, 15 pounds. Doesn't he just look non athletic? Go back, go back a little bit. Go back to to him struggling down the field. Doesn't he just look not very athletic? Just run down the field. He just looks like he's carrying himself like he had too much red meat. And I think we're watching Maurice because uh, Daniel is looking at at uh, potential Falcons guys, so he's having me on just to kind of <laughs> get some opinions on him. Well, he's being touted also as the number two defensive tackle in, Can be. in the draft. Can be. Impossible. He, that's what he's being touted as. Uh, it's him, Vitavia, and what is it, uh... Pain or hand to Sean Hand. Ugh, what about the kid from Florida? <laughs> what about uh what about uh Christian Wilkins that plays tackle as well, man? I don't get into all the all the pundits this early in the draft process, man. It's 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 early and I don't think they really have a good idea of what's going on just yet. But that's the reason why I'm staying away from Christian Wilkins is because I'm a Clemson guy. I've seen him week to week mm-hmm. and and they're talking him up like he's some kind of Stranger Things 2 demo. Run his back. Run his back. Run his back. I like this. I like this. Let me see what, let me see what's going on here. <clears throat> Pause it, right? Pause it. So <clears throat> he's going to get some penetration right here. He's going to find where the running back is, and instead of trying to disengage and get to the running back, he's simply going to push his blocker to condense the run space. You see what I'm saying? Bring it back a little bit. Just one click. Um, he can't make the tackle right there, right? So he's going to make that hole as small as he could possibly get it, running just a little bit, and he's going to condense that thing, right? He sees the running back right there. He can't get to him, so he's just going to push 70 into the center and just cut down that run space. You know what I'm saying? Make it real hard for the running back to eat. Um, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's good D-line work right there. That's good D-line work. I don't mind this. Go back right here. This dude seems like he can use some work, man. Uh, but I like that he that he can come off the football, use his hands and find the foot and find it. Okay, that's what he's doing right now. 
pretty good leverage, hands inside. He's going to get rid of that dude once he finds the football. He's just not athletic enough to get there. You know what I mean? So, uh, third-round talent, possibly fourth-round guy. I don't know. I feel like I've heard his name before, Maurice Hurst. I've heard his name before. I haven't watched too much film on him. but I don't, So, I don't really know how much hype he's getting. But, uh you know he's not really flying around the field. He's not a he's he 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 moves like a one tech, but he's probably gonna gonna play three. You know what I mean? I, I want my nose guards to run like this. Project him um, anywhere on the line as far as the defensive tackle techs go, as far mm-hmm. as three tech, one tech, zero. Um, as just a hard worker, I don't think he's going to be like a superstar in the league. But no, I he's think not. That he's gonna. At least from this game, anyway. I've got one more that I want to show you. Yeah, we'll see. You, you can. He has the sack in. You can go ahead. You can, you can go ahead and go to it, man. You know, I'm I'm pretty right. much. I, I've gotten what I need to get from this Maryland tape. What I see from him is that he's probably going to be a, a three tech, just based on his body build. If if he's in a three four situation, he might be one of those uh, one of those defensive ends. Go back. He might be one of those defensive. Ends. Okay, the sack came immediately. Okay, no, that's not the sack. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that's the sack. Is it right here? Yep. Well, <laughs> didn't leave much of the imagination, huh? Let's see uh, how you do it. They keep cutting these plays too close, man. <laughs> Come on, drive breakdown. We pay money now. We get to complain. Where is he? He's he's he is the one tech here. He, he's right in the very center of the line. Yeah, on the left side. Yeah. And he just blows by the guard. It's just center. a bull rush. Yeah, I got you. Hit that X on that ad down there, Dan. They're not paying us. <laughs> they not paying us. Uh, okay. Pretty good start to a bull rush, but the lineman recovered pretty well. Go back. The lineman, uh, the guard, rec- the center recovered pretty well, and kept hands on him so hey man at this point you got to release man i don't know what's over these michigan defensive ends taco charter these michigan defensive ends that that don't want to release from people they just want to give chase with 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 blockers draped on them that's some good that's some good tenacity right there he seems like a like a ghost guy he doesn't want to put his hands on people he just want to get people off of him and, and ain't nothing wrong with that but he's not athletic enough to just play the get people off me game you see what i'm saying uh-huh but he's he's uh he's causing a little more disturbance in this game though. I see that. I really want to know what's up with um Oklahoma's right guard situation. Go back. Mm-hmm. Little old stunt there. Not very athletic on that stunt, man. I say. Uh, two take. Common theme. Mm-hmm. He tried to spin move, but he didn't really go nowhere. So he's lacking a lot of technique. Go back. Tried a little spin move. He didn't really go nowhere. Didn't get a lot of leverage on. He just spinned and ended up in the same place he was at first. So he could probably use a little help with his hands, a little. He offsides like a mug right now. Go back. Ain't nobody see this? His hands are on the other side of the blue line. Where about his, what about his head? <laughs> he, 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 oh, yeah. If he uh, if he lined up at the zero, he's bumping into the center, fam. Nah, uh, I don't like that. <laughs> that man hugging that line, though. I like that. I love when my D lineman can can get as much from the uh, from the line of scrimmage as they possibly can. Mm, I don't know, Maurice. I need to see a little more from your hands, buddy. More from your hands. More technique. More diversity. Now, look. Granted, I'm not. You know, you're not gonna be a uh, Defensive end type pass rush or, or or nothing like that, man. But I like I like the disruption right there. Go back there. He has good leverage sometimes. He has good hands sometimes. He has good release sometimes. Right. Welcome to the world of Grady Jarrett. When he was coming out of Clemson, he had, he's he's kind of okay at the at the three tech, but he's fumbling around. He's kind of good in his leverage, but then there's plenty of times where people get out of his out of his arms he's kind of good at blocking mm-hmm. but he sometimes get just pushed right out of the play yeah. this is great jared all over again man but this guy's bigger yeah. and less athletic 
I would like to see him lose a little weight and um, try to uh, pull off some full time three tech. I wouldn't mind saying that. Yeah, he pretty good job beating that block right there. Got double team right here though. So yeah, man, I pretty much got a got a good idea of Mo Hurst, man. You know, I I got a decent a decent picture of him. I mean, I'll I'll try to follow up with some more film later on, man. But I think I I think I know who he is, man. The type of player he is, you know. Mm. It's just not athletic enough, and I, I mean, he's being touted as a late first round guy. That's the thing. Um, That's the thing, Dan. We're 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 being critical because. I mean, we're not saying he can't come to the league and be productive in three or so years or whatever that he's, you know, he, but, you know, he's not, I don't think he'll be the second best defensive tackle in this class. And I don't think he's a late first round guy. Probably get him in the third like, or something. Yeah, I like uh, Vita Vea more than him. And he's, Vita Vea is 360 something pounds or uh, he could drop 20 something pounds and be a better defensive tackle, you know, but like. Mm-hmm. This guy just – and he's still more athletic than than Mo. But I like the spurts I see in Mo. I just don't like Mo as a whole. Like there's bits and parts of Mo that I really, really like. They remind me of certain players or, or certain mechanics that, that show that he can be a really good player. And then other times, you know, he just kind of gets pancake like on that play. Or Dan, who would uh, who would win a, a college in their prime foot race, Dontari Poe or Danny Sheldon? Because those two are the fastest fat dudes I've ever seen. Probably Poe. Yeah. Poe ran like a 4-9 or some shit. Some stupid. Some bird. crazy. Some, 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 some crazy number, right? But Danny Sheldon could run too. Yeah. This is this play right here. This play, not this, but this play right here mm. showcases exactly what I saw at Grady Jarrett, why he dropped all the way to the fourth round. Gets the penetration, doesn't make the tackle. Yeah. Gets the penetration, doesn't make the tackle. And a lot of the times you see athletic spurts from him, like here, mm-hmm. and and just, I don't know. It just can't bring him down, can't wrap up. And he has but tools. He has tools, but, you know, sometimes it just takes a little more work to put it all together, you know? You know why I think that the the the, the pundits and the, and the four-letter and three-letter networks are – are saying this guy is so good Michigan. because of the name. Michigan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Michigan, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's yeah, the man. name. And that he has some flash plays here and there. Yeah. He has some flash plays here and there where it's, oh, it's Michigan and, and it's a flash play, mm. you know? Yeah, man. They, they, they watch these big games and they eat the cheese and they sell it to us, man. They're just responsible for talking about something. Hey, you know who's going to be a big player in this game here? The kid Maurice Hurst. Watch him in the middle. He's going to be something special today. You know, it's just something to talk about. But when it's time for draft time, where we separate, um, where we separate the, 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 uh, the, the, uh, Crocs from cats, so to speak, um, I don't think he stacks up with the rest of them. And that's nothing against them. I mean, we, we got to have third rounders every year, you know? Um, you know, I'm just disagreeing with the, uh, with the uh, pundits on this one. I'm done, Dan. You done? Yeah, I'm done. I got a good idea of Maurice <laughs> Hurst. Hey, man, look, where can they find you, Dan? Uh, you can find me at uh, Unintentional Grounding. Uh, and as, uh, wow, I've just drawn a blank. Thanks, Vach. It's all your fault, Vach. It's hey, all your fault. You can find me on YouTube at Unintentional Ground. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram at the handle UNGR underscore show. That I'm Lieutenant Dan Lates. Hey, man, there's a like button, a dislike, a subscribe button, and a bell. Hit three out of four of them. Go in the comment section. I'm Vach Lombardi on Twitter, V-O-C-H-L-O-M-B-A-R-D-I. And uh, drop a little money in the tank on the Patreon so we can keep this thing rolling. If you have a suggestion, I mean, you can leave it, but uh, the uh, patron, the uh, patrons call the shots around here. So um, join that exclusive club of people. All right? Y'all hold it down for the Doski, Woski, the Piski, Weeski. That's Dan. I'm Vach. Salute.